It's back to work for the Green Bay Packers after losing at home Sunday night to Dallas. This week, the defending NFC North champs are playing the defending NFC South champion, Buccaneers. The Cowboys won the Sunday game 27-16 and beat the Packers on the line of scrimmage as they racked up 217 yards rushing. I don't think the Packers fans need to be all that concerned with uh, how the defense played against Dallas. What they do need to worry about is whether they can protect uh, Aaron Rodgers and avoid being uh, sacked as many times as he was by the Cowboys. The Packers offensive line failed to get the job done. Rodgers was sacked five times. His counterpart Tony Romo passed for 260 yards and one score. The Buccaneers are coming off an exciting overtime win in Chicago as they stopped the Bears 27-24. Of course Al Harris has a spleen injury and that could be a, a bit dangerous. The team is saying that he may come back this year, which would be very unusual for a spleen injury. Quarterback Brian Greasy led the way as the Bucks overcame a 10-point fourth-quarter deficit. For the game, he attempted a franchise record 67 passes, connecting on 38. Coach John Gruden says Greasy was great down the stretch. I don't expect uh, Brian Greasy to be throwing the ball over 60 times this week, that's for sure. And I don't think John Gruden wants that either. That game could very much come down to uh, which of the quarterbacks makes fewer mistakes and I have confidence in Aaron Rodgers that he'll come through with a pretty solid game. I kind of like the Packers in that game. Sunday's game is taking place at Raymond James Stadium where the Buccaneers topped the series against the Bears five games to one. The Bucks topped the NFC South with a record of two wins and one defeat. The Bears are on top of the NFC North also two and one. Jack Briggs, the Associated Press.